recording we can go here so this is the sheet as you can see there's currently like 670 runs submitted so there's a lot submitted um these are the new ones that i didn't see yet this one actually is kind of interesting but i believe this was something it was what 660 and 661 that's the ouch one and that's that so i need to find the sanctuary one it's down conveniently oh here it is it's 655 so somehow there's like way less money you good have a, i am doing pretty good um i have to figure out where this money went all right so you have lightning because i remember in the notes uh that one didn't have it didn't have the alk Ooh, and we got some billy joel playing okay so this is a setup um for round 95 what we have to do this guy really can't kill ddt's at all so the first thought at least was put ice here you on strong we have two moab glues here they conveniently can't kill hit any of the ddt's without decamo but i also could alk buff the cripple so i have two decent options here um the thing is that with just like a signal flare, which I guess is the most obvious solution to decamo stuff, these glues, well, this glue is going to be out of range. This isn't. So I'm thinking I'm going to start by trying signal flare right here. You're just going to be like that. We also have to get this later. Okay. So I'm going to use the ability now. We're going to keep you on strong and yeah this isn't looking so hot i'll do one thing real quick though i'm back now but this one was definitely one of the ones that i thought would if anything it would be more impossible than possible so let me get the spike back in here this stupid spike i'm really killing all the cash that i can use so i'm gonna go like here this ice doesn't have much range. Um, do I have to get like range here for it to maybe be a bit more effective? I can also try Alk buff on Sniper. Strong. Really feel like having the Moab glue effect would be a bit better, I guess, in one of many cases. So we can get that, but that still just leaks everything. It, this might just like be be screwed by default I and mean, that's always an option because there is so many so many bad choices being played here so yeah I'll try a few more times I guess I really don't see much faith in it I can't get MIB here even if I could I wouldn't be able to afford it um really this is the only way that we'll get I could try, I guess, changing it up and going for mortar here. So we're going to have the mob glue at least hitting stuff. We could then try, uh, we could either get relentless or alk buff here. I'm going to alk buff this. I'm just going to get cross paths and yeah, kind of work with that. So with, if you get AMD, you can like hit it. That's not really much of a guarantee though. Um, that is actually looking a bit better. It's definitely not good enough though. So another option that I guess we'll have is by getting by doing this going relentless that will kind of hopefully get the stun i guess but not really much past that we are stunning but cripple can't really hold much of anything without alk buff and Quincy's not doing any damage. So yeah, that's just an issue. This one probably 
is as I said before, it was the hardest salvage here. I didn't really see have much faith in it working. So I'll give it one more attempt. This will be the last attempt. Not much faith in this anyways, but we'll we'll restart this and and redo this as a proper challenge if this doesn't work. Yeah, those ceramics are just leaking. Okay. So let's see, what towers do we have to incorporate here? Looks like just Crossbow Master Quincy Cripple Moab is really the big thing. Um, I don't really see much past that. So let's go. There was the Quincy start. We could try to pull off that Quincy start. I remember I had to do it for the early game, and I actually had to learn the Quincy start. You put it, like, right here, and then you put you on strong... Okay, there we go. And then you put it on strong for the blues. Yep. And then you have to get like this right here or something. So you put you on first and then the dart right here. And then this dart goes on strong, I believe. And then you go back onto strong for these blues here on round eight. All of this, and then this should be able to take that down and we can get the sniper. I'm gonna get the sniper right here. So the shrapnel is gonna just have more effect. That's gonna be a lot more effective than having it in the corner. Um, so that's a good thing to note that we're fixing up this time and let's see I definitely want to have like better support on Quincy because last time Quincy wasn't really getting any potential being used at all um but I do also have the cross master too so that's gonna help out uh, let's see if I can just get away with going more straight into the crossbow from here these next rounds should all be super chill. So it's not like I'm going to be running into an issue there. We'll have the ability for round 15. Just going to do some sniper micro here. Can I get crossbow soon? Yes, I can. Nice. Nice and easy. We'll have this for round 15 and we'll get the cross path too. Again, Crossmaster got some like weird changes, but I guess you have to deal with it. Um, I don't really think it's going to be that worse. This map is actually quite good for Crossbow Master, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. But all these early game rounds are going to be nice and easy. Um, you can also kind of consider getting what should we call Alk buff on Quincy kind of early. Just have to keep in mind that you need room for a village and a first strike for this. Otherwise, it's all going to be really easy. And I don't think I'm going to go for a discount. I'm just going to go... Actually, I don't know if I want... I probably should do... I don't know if I want MIB. That's a decision I have to make. I think I could skip MIB just for an embrittlement. And if I have a Sabo, I should be able to beat 95 with a Cripple Mob. So I think that's going to be the play. Anyways, we come into an issue... Right about here, um, I could go straight into this, see if this helps. Only issue is that we leak a bunch of stuff. Um, not if I use the ability. I think just the sniper will be able to deal with 22 and 23 a lot better. So we can get away with uh, without having to use the ability. Uh, no, not really. Great. Probably need to get another sniper unless... Nah, it kind of just starts to fall off. That's alright, we can get another sniper. That sniper can go on first, clean up stuff, if need be. There we go. Nice and easy, and we can deal with that camo just fine from, like, literally every tower. <laughs> Got level 6. Um, So I think that... Do I have to use ability this round? Uh, yeah, probably. Good to, good to use the ability on 25 if you have Quincy. 
26 is easy and around 27 you'll have it back which is the next time you're going to want to use it so i think i should just be able to go straight into the sharpshooter here all right hello pedro pedro i'll just call you pedro man Okay, get the sharpshooter, and there we go. We should be good for a while. Um, I did a run with XXL trap on Muddy Puddles. I don't know if it's salvageable because it has no money. Yeah, if it has no money, there's probably not much that I could do for it. Um, like, less than $10,000 on, like, a completely dead thing on 95 is really kind of the most money that I need to be able to somewhat salvage it if it did. Um... But you can submit it to the form, it's ISAB's form, which all of these are taken off out of, if you're curious. Worst thing that's going to happen is that it's just going to be rejected, so. Carrier Glorm XXXL. Alright, you, you can submit it if you want. Maybe I'll see it. But yeah, as I said, the only... The worst thing that could happen is it's just going to reject, get rejected and it's not going to make it into a video of any kind. Uh, so, might as well do it. Unless it's a 2TC. Because then it's going to be giving a good frown. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. On 35, I think this is where I'm just going to want my ALK buff. Um, I can put ALK buff right here. It'll go for both Quincy. If I, I'll get a stim, and we'll get both Quincy and uh, that crossbow with whatever comes off of Quincy. And we'll also have a lot of shots. We have plenty of room for my village when I want that. So let's grab this here. Um, oh, it's going on crossbow first. Eh, that's also fine. Both outcomes. Well, Quincy's more a little bit more desirable, so I just died there conveniently. Yeah, Quincy's way better with Alk than Crossbow, so let's make sure we get that down correctly. And there we go. Quincy has it now. So yeah, Quincy just has more projectiles, more pierce, way better with Alk buff, and stuff is leaking. Gotta watch out for that. They're sneaky. Things can be sneaky and try to leak. Uh, okay, Quincy's got it. Alright, something here is going to try to leak, right? Yeah, that one pink. Okay. Got it cut, deal, dealt with. I'll just keep the sniper on first. But yeah, some in the Twitch chat is saying, can they salvage run? But yeah, you can. Just submit it through um, ISAB salvage sheet. And I will see it, because I look at every single uh, submission that goes through that. So if you want to submit a run... You can do it, and I guess on top of that, if you want me to like see it, see it, you can put Chom Chom in uh, the notes, because there's a note section. If you do that, I will see it, see it, see it. But normally, I just see all of them. So yeah, if you want to submit a salvage run, you could do that, I guess. No reason to not. All right, moving on to 37 here. We're doing just fine. Um. Not a whole lot. I think this will just be very simple. Just trying to clean up the strategy. There is, it's not like the towers are bad. These towers are actually quite good on uh, Sanctuary. Quincy's kind of underrated in many aspects. Um, and also Cripple Moab's just strong. Crossmaster, I know people like to hate on it, but it is good on this map. I think I'm going to be going for my village now. If I have my ability up for 40, um, 40 will just be shredded. So, I think if I can just go for my primary training, I should be good now. Just need to have my ability up for 40. Did I say 37? I felt like I said ability for 37 before. Okay, ability for 40, and that's just shredded. Nice. Nice and easy. I'm going to discount this. Get, grab discount here. Um, actually, probably there was no reason grabbing discount because I'm going to be getting a tier 4 and then hopefully straight into tier 5 after this okay so let's grab the stim you should be getting alk buff too nice so both quincy and crossbow have alk and ideally in a perfect world this can go straight into crossbow master so let's hope for that ok 
Okay, so 47 got us. I think this will just be solved with a quick uh, level 3 ability. There we go. We're actually going to be getting level 10 soon, which is nice. Place Being able to place Quincy on round 6 and then getting all of that XP you'll get. Also for the fast leveling heroes, you'll get the levels really, really quickly. So, level 10 should be on like, is it 49 or 50? It's close, at least close to around 49 level 10, we'll see. Okay, it's going to be around 50. Um, there's going to be the ceramic wave that comes kind of in the middle of here right now. We use the level 3 ability on, and there we go. We pass that just fine. Cross Master is also super cheap, so we'll get that soon at least. 23k for that. Can we beat this Moab? Uh, with one red leaking, yes. Now we did a lot worse. Thank you. Now that's because I had Alk buff on both of those guys before. Okay, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, It's alright though. I'm just going to get main Moab right here. I'm not going to discount this guy. It's not going to be worth it for discount. Uh, and we'll get Cross Moab Master a little bit later. We'll still get it before round 63, which as long as we get it before round 63, we'll be fine. But we'll have our main Moab dealing with all of the Moabs for now. So that's pretty good. All right. But anyways, at least compared to the original run, I'm getting rid of just a lot of junk that was completely unnecessary. Like you can pick uh, the main towers that you're going to be working with and just go straight into the whole strategy with that. And if it was for a black border, um, you could grab just like something else, something cheap to add on that would allow you to go more into it. But even uh, with something like this, keeping it simple will will keep it nice and easy. This, however, okay, 54 is definitely a level 3 ability. Um, but anyways, for these salvagers, like, I know I always try to do, like, crazy stuff and get, like, a lot of cash to spare. I feel like I want to try when doing the re-salvage part for the salvage run. I feel like I definitely want to try to keep it more, um, like a lot more chill, like nothing, no crazy cash spare. Just more of like what a black border strategy could be than anything. Although ha using that level 10 ability before is not really the best of ideas. Let's see. I might have to do some sniper micro to beat up these rounds. Yeah. Like setting you back on first for when everything comes there. Should work. Okay. Strong first. Strong first. And here's more. Ah, that is not good. Okay. This isn't going as good as I thought. Um, I should have had my level 10 up. That was silly of me. Okay, I'm going to need to get a downdraft. Alright, it's downdraft time. A little a little bit of misplay here. But yeah. I think it would have been more effective, I guess, to then, instead of doing maim after, just get downdraft. And then use downdraft to move back to Stramix, and then you wouldn't really need to get maim earlier. Um... Now, the round 63, we might not get Crossmaster for round 63 because of that. So yeah, that, I guess, was a bit of a mistake. I am a little bit rusty, maybe. I want to say I wouldn't make mistakes that bad, but sometimes I guess they do happen. What does Black Border mean? So Black Border means you're relatively new. So basically, black border means that you do uh, chimps in one go. So this is not a black border, as you can see, because I'm retrying a lot. Uh, but for a black border, you like practice the strategy, get it down really well, and then you do it all just in one go without retrying. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm not gonna be doing black border because I don't want to spend like a bajillion years. Well, it wouldn't be a bajillion years. It would be like maybe a few hours trying to like knock down some of these strategies especially because they aren't really typically the most optimal like i would not recommend doing cripple quincy crossbow master for a black border on sanctuary um i guess it would be 
more possible than other things though but uh i basically don't have time to spend a few hours trying to not nail down something like this for a black border um so i'm not going to do it plus these salvage runs the runs that, that i'm salvaging they're not a black border in the first place so anyways as you can see i put myself in a pickle we're on round 63 without crossbow master now that is kind of a disappointment thanks for explaining no problem um because of this this still doesn't mean it's the end of it i really couldn't work something out well without it but as you can see i'm not beating this well i can beat one wave with level three but that doesn't give me the 2k cash so i can do something where i can just get a tower that i'm gonna be using later on or i could try adding something else interesting so basically I would be using later on you're gonna see uh wait will this work I'm just curious I don't even have the ability up okay I'd be going for a R glue and a real uh embrittlement so okay well the embrittlement's out of range that kind of sucks so with an r glue this would not clear yet mostly because the embrittlement's out of range that's fine how about a ball lightning that also kind of is quite out of range too but we'll see can i get a ball lightning going going down there no it's a bit late Condor is did not put that anywhere. All right, let's retry this with Condor in a spot that actually works. If this doesn't work, I think I'll just restart. That was that was a really bad mistake on my part. Um. Okay, I don't have any good places for Condor to push things. Yeah, I have to put it low. In order for that to work either that or condor over here that might be fine yeah okay i'm gonna restart not the greatest of all starts i'm kind of rerunning it in a way i don't know i feel like this one would be like a whole video itself because this is like a full rerun the one that I did before where I, I re-ran the impossible one, I don't know if that's got uploaded. That might still be in the scheduled queue. Uh, it was uh, Flooded Valley flagship stuff. Like flooded Valley Carpet of Spikes. I'm not sure if that one got uploaded yet. Actually, I think that's in queue. But anyways, I failed the run, so I went through like the whole thing again, and I kind of fixed it up a bit. Um, but everything was like really easy in that run. It wasn't super interesting. So I kind of just sped through it and included it with another salvage. Oh, geez. This is not going well. 54 is hard. Oof. Okay. So we can get one and then I'm going to have to use this here to get the other one. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. 55. We can deal with that pretty well and then even with the big wave without the level three we should be able to take it out just fine okay yeah so for the first three waves i should just be able to keep the downdraft here and then this is the big wave push you over here keep all those ceramics deal with one half and then there we go nice and easy and now I should be able to go for the crossbow master um, sooner than later, hopefully. I have both of my abilities here on 57, so there's these two sets of double moabs that can be tricky. Like, I just die to those. There's only two of them, so you can use both of your abilities and just take it out. Especially of Quincy. And then 58's really easy. And I got crossbow master, nice. So, now with that, um... Ice Cripple Moab is up next. The 
faster I get Cripple Moab, I kind of obviously you'll get Cripple Moab faster. Uh, not going to get discount. That wouldn't be worth it. Drums probably. And Stim actually isn't bad on Cripple Moab just because the extra pierce is so huge. Um, there's not really many towers where you'll get such a great advantage of having one extra pierce. But on Cripple Moab, that is definitely the case. So, I'm going to hold the money on 62 in case I need to buy, like, Relentless. But that will probably be the next thing that I get. Okay. Yeah, just totally easy. Got it all under cover. Nice. Crossmaster's doing the work. Just the general chimp strategy videos are fun. It's nice to watch someone better than me. Ah, oh, that's nice. So you just like the funky chimp strategies? There's a lot of funky stuff. This is a bit funky, I guess. Like something that you probably would have never expected to be seen but if you want something really funky Quincy when used properly in chimps is actually like insane really slept on and for some reason also pod is slept on a lot even though it's a just an amazing tower um but you'll see I will be getting some power out of Quincy later on in this game so you're gonna see that it's gonna be pretty cool <laughs> all right anyways kind of just some waiting now uh going for cripple i'll just put this here and sure question though what is your favorite strategy wonder what it will be or maybe not just you put a bunch of random things and hope it works Most people probably most people don't really like run set strategies like strategies in mind They just put down Whatever they hope will work and see if it works, which I guess is something you can do There's a lot less thinking involved with that at least so in Sense for some it would be more fun Kind of like music theory, I guess <laughs> Oh, uh, stuff's leaking. Um, anyways, I want to... I know that Crossmaster got some changes, so it actually will be better in the mid-game. I wonder if that means it can solo 96. Not, not 96, what am I saying? 76. Can I take out, like, all of this, though? I think I have to use my level 3, though, here. So, we'll do that. Just use some micro. So, this BFB should be fine. The first set of BFBs, two on each side, they're only accompanied by one. The other one, it's set of three on single lane, so it's going to be two here and then one on the other side. Well, I guess along with the stunned one there, so it's three anyways. Um, so you have to use that ability later. Now it's all set. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to use level three anyways. Okay, got that taken care of. I use Spirit of the Forest a lot now, but I kind of just do random stuff. I see. Spirit of the Forest is a fun tower. Fairly versatile, especially on uh, harder maps. You can use Spirit of the Forest quite in many ways. Um, I've been blackboarding a lot of maps recently and finished the beginner maps. So, all right. I'll finish reading that. I just have to make sure I use the ability here. Okay. Um, so what I do normally is just mess around in medium and hard stuff and then I'll have your strategy solved by chimps. Ah, got it. Just like figuring out what you want to do. I guess that allows you to really play with a lot of variety uh, by trying your your stuff out, your, like your setup out on easy and then it goes to medium. Also, this is yuck. Okay. There we go. Finally we got it. Bruh, that sucks. Okay, so cripples cripples actually in a really really good tower. Um, you can put like just alk buff on it and OC, and it can stop a lot. However, on this map, I am gonna really be in need for some like ceramic damage, so I don't think I'm gonna have OC on you. It's gonna be more more looking for that on Quincy. Um, so yeah, I have to probably use that ability there, but. 
the main, the cripple mob actually can do quite a lot of mob damage. It's kind of crazy. Something that people may not really expect the most. Also, I used level 3 at the wrong time. Um, do I have level 10 up for it? Okay, we kind of just take it all out. Nice. But there's cripple mob. So, like, look at this. That fortified BFB kind of just got annihilated. Cripple mob was the only thing attacking it. And, yeah, ZOMG has gone really fast, too. Stuff that's good with Moabs. Nice. Top Hat Sniper. Oh, yeah, Top Hat Sniper. I got that here with me right now. Uh, let's get... Uh, well, first of all... I don't know if I just want to get Camo here. Probably. Because I could do Discount and then get Signal Flare. But I think I'm just going to go for Camo here. Um, just to not really mess around much. Now, well, this is really the triad of towers that I needed. I'm going to get Alk buff. And then drums down there too. And see what else we need. I could go for just Embrit or I could go for Glue Storm to, for the MIB skip. We're going to be going for an MIB skip because I have primary uh, training up here for the Crossmaster and the Relentless Glue. So MIB skip is good because you get a benefit out of MIB skip other even more than that it being cheaper. Um, so let's get you here. So what will it be? Imbrit? Well, we're going to have an Imbrit anyways. So I think I'm just going to be starting off with an Imbrit. We're going to have you anyways. So let's just get you now. Um, and then OC on Quincy, and then probably just a Sabo's fine. Quincy really goes crazy when you get CTA and OC, but even with just OC, uh, he's, he's pretty good. Okay. Take out these UMGs. Cripple is going, <laughs> Cripple is going crazy. It's doing Cripple stuff. For ceramics, though, I'm not sure. Maybe OC Quincy will just deal with all of it. We could hope. We could hope for stuff like that. Also, I do need to get a... a first strike in here at some point. So I'm going to put the sub just right there. So you can have that in mind for later. 90 is here. Let's see how 90 goes. Taken out fairly well. That's good to see. Maybe one Sabo just for 99 and 95 is all we'll really need. But let's uh, let's use level 3. And we died. Nice. That was a great showcase of how strong Quincy actually can be. <laughs> Mostly because of the ceramic. On Sanctuary, ceramics often can be an issue. That's why, like, you frequently see a spines and a bads, because they'll kind of just deal with ceramics. But anyways, I got OC now, so I can OC Quincy. Make Quincy go a bit crazy. Give him the roids. As they always need it. Let's just put OC. The annoying thing is that because Quincy is level 20, you will get a downtime on OC. Um, Kind of sucks, but... You have to deal with that, I guess. Like, for these DDTs on 93, Quincy's actually going to be on downtime here. And also this one in Brittlement's going to be quite far out of range. Uh, we still deal with it, though. I should stack up my money for 95, though. Because... Not sure if I'm going to need, like, double Sabo. I can afford double Sabo on 95. If I need that, but... Not sure if I am going to be able to buy that. But anyways, check this out, potentially, if I don't leak to all of that. We're going to OC and um, use level 3 on Quincy at the same time. Right now, maybe. Why not? The ZMGs are out of range. But yeah, that just shreds it. Quincy can do stuff like that. Just don't really see being a, being used a whole lot. Okay, so we got 15k here. Pretty good. We got a lot. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to need first strike for 100. Um, I don't. I'm not really familiar with the power that you'll get from OC Quincy with cripple because that is a damage debuff. So it will go a bit crazy 
on the bad that uh ceramic leaking by the way anyways i will need a sabo for 99 so i'm getting that but i think just to be safe i'm going to reserve the cash for a first strike um at least that or a uh, spike storm i don't i'm really not sure so i'm just gonna play it safe and and save for a first strike better safe than sorry i guess let's use level three here keep at least the level one ability which will be the level 10 for 96 because 96 can be a pain do i beat the first part of this nice and then everything gets stacked up here we need to use the ability get oc back up and there we go we clear that pretty good and then these umgs should just go down nice no issue here 97 should be an issue 98 could potentially be an issue is the bet where the salvage starts no no this is the the salvage of the salvage so the salvage attempt that i did um it just sucked it, it got stuck on 95 you'll see it in the video when that comes out but it was awful so this is basically the strategy that it was going for but just a lot cleaner a lot more effective and a lot more efficient um better placements and stuff all like that too um so yeah that's all taken care of i'm gonna put uh cripple on first here so we want to see if this works if i can okay i got pierce capped maybe cripple on strong is best but i wanted to see what i kind of was dealing with i do have sabo for 99 so even if oc's down that shouldn't be an issue um but yeah there's a lot here a lot more than i'd like to deal with this should kind of honestly be fine though i'm gonna get a i could try going for just like a press or two i'm gonna press here and also with press i probably can sabo early and get that back up for 99 sanctuary and flooded flooded especially you often can't get away with that trick but with press and cripple, maybe I can. Let's use that here. Okay, level three coming in now. And okay, nah. So let's go first now. Use level three. But that leaves me with like all of these ZOMGs. left which isn't quite nice you are liking the playlist thanks i feel like i could have really done a lot more if i went for uh cta here instead because that really would have pulled the strategy a lot better i'm making quite a few mistakes this time that's all right though let's go for let's try this then let's press spam one side like three presses here So basically the whole idea is that this side will just be perpetually knocked back and then this side over here we can deal with it in ways that you would deal with it put you over to first so you don't kill actually those zoomgs and then use yeah, you'd have to use those abilities later okay but anyways that's the whole point That just takes out all of that but then i kind of get unless i can take this really slow yeah i would need like the level 10 for this side or else i'm gonna get pierce capped which kind of sucks um see if this is possible though i could also get condor i haven't tried condor yet condor is a great tower Let's see if I can do it without using level 10. I mean, without using level three. So if I go like this here, no. 
I just also just don't really have any ceramic cleanup. This is quite a bit worse than I had originally thought. All right, after this try, I'm gonna try condor. Cause condor is good. What are your monkeys named after? They're named after a song. Uh, it's a soundtrack to Rocky Horror. If you did not know. All right, let's try this. Does this allow me to not use level 10? Please and thank you. Oh, look at that. Okay, I saved level 10. And I am going to get Sabo back. So when all of this comes out here and Pierce caps me, I can use level 10 and all the... Yeah. There we go. Got it covered. Took a little bit longer than it should have, really. But... I guess that happens sometimes. Not really the best performance here. Let's just see if I can beat it without using first strike. Does that work? Um, it actually probably should work. Yeah, it does work without first strike. Okay, I didn't even need first strike anyways. Yeah. So really not not the greatest run in all honesty on my end. This definitely is better than the one that I salvaged, but there are a few mistakes here. Um, CTA probably would have been just a way better option. Never needed first strike. Uh, overclocked. Uh, Cripple does a lot of damage, and then with the debuff you do enough to kind of cover the rest. So yeah. Oh, I get free stuff. Nice. Thanks for watching. If you want to help out the channel, you can check out these new videos, like and subscribe for more content, support the channel by becoming a member, and joining the Discord to chat with the community. Bye!